A green welcome to you all for a cleaner mobility, electric vehicles and I am Krishna Jatina Mandela. In this video, I will answer some of the subscriber questions. The first question is asked by Mr. Gaurav Prabhakar. He asked that, when will Tata Alpro ZV launching? Actually, this electric car should be launched by this October 2020. But due to this pandemic, I think it will be launched in 2021. And he asked another question. Was it true that EV battery gradually decrease their range? Yes, actually electric vehicle batteries efficiency will uh, reduce after uh, particular uh, days like after six months or after one year slowly the battery uh, efficiency start reducing once the battery uh, efficiency reduces the charging time will increase and the same time the range will also decrease and the second question is asked by mr prashant kumar sapti and he asked when will launch high speed and long mileage electric scooter or motorcycle Actually, in India already there are some high-speed electric scooters and long-range vehicles are already available. I'm not sure which vehicle, what kind of range you're expecting. I think the best range uh, for, if you consider electric bikes, Revolt RB400 is already offering 156 km range in the eco mode. In the same way, electric scooters like uh, uh, Aether 450X, Bajaj Chetak, uh, E-Pluto 7G, Benling Aura, TVS IQ, all these are high-speed electric scooters and they're offering a better range only. And also don't expect high range like 300 kilometers or 250 kilometer range in an electric uh, scooters because if the if the vehicle need more range, the battery pack should be uh, heavy. If the battery pack heavy means the weight to weight distribution is quite complex. Like uh, they sh uh, the manufacturer should uh, redesign the vehicle again. So that's the issues uh, with this uh, high range. So th that's the answer for your question. And the third question is asked by Mr. Vijay. Shetty, just planning to buy Pure EV e-trans plus but confused about the maintenance as the dealer is quite far from where I live. Uh, you should better explain me like uh, what is the exa exact distance from your place and the dealer. Uh, and for your question, electric vehicles are actually maintenance free. But on a safer side, if it is near to you, like if the Pure EV e-trans plus range is around 60 to 70 kilometer, if you are living around uh, 60, 70 or 100 km, you can go for it. But if it is, you are living in one city and you, and the scooter is in, uh, I mean the dealer is in another city, better you need to think once. That's the answer. And the next question is asked by Mr. Teja Shwa. He asks, sir, tell me best electric moped which has minimum range of 80 km. If you ask me best, I think there is no best electric moped uh, available right now. Uh, I would suggest you to wait till the launch of Quark Q. Quark is an upcoming uh, electric moped. Uh, you can watch the video and I will provide the link of Quark You can watch. Uh, I think they will launch probably at the end of this year or 2021. The next question is asked by Mr. Hariharan Raghavan. Will there be a solution for charging car in apartments such as taking battery to first floor and then charge inside our house? Uh, I think the best solution for electric car charging is uh, DC fast charging. But you are asking like, I want to take the battery, I mean, I need to remove the battery and I will charge it in the apartment. Uh, I think it's not possible because the battery pack weight itself for an electric car, it will be like 200 kilograms. You can't lift a 200 kilogram battery out and you can go for, it cannot go comfortable for a charge in your apartment. Because an electric vehicle battery for lithium and battery pack itself for one kilowatt hour, uh, the weight will be around seven kilograms to eight kilograms. An electric scooter battery itself starts from, I mean, an electric scooter battery weight itself starts from 20 kilograms. For an electric car, think about Tata Nexon if you are going to buy. The weight itself around 200 kilograms, more than that. So you cannot uh, remove that. I, I would say you better install a DC fast charger at your home and it's the best solution for you. And the next question is asked by Mr. Gauridhan Ganeshan. He asked the average cost to start an EV manufacturing company. And the say, like the same question, uh, one more person asked, in the Indian JCBS also asked a similar question. What is the steps to start an electric car startup? I would suggest you to watch the interview uh, we did with uh, Pranav Singhanpalli, the CEO of Emote Electric. And that video will answer all your questions. And the next question is asked by Mr. Bharat Bhatt. He asked that, can hydrogen fuel cell tech accompanied by a petrol engine for slitting water into hydrogen and oxygen? It's not possible because uh, uh, petrol is actually a fuel like uh, its main purpose is to uh, run the vehicle. But the, but the fuel cell operates operation is to separate the hydrogen and the water uh, from the uh, fuel pipe. So there is a difference where so you cannot 
do you cannot uh, use this petrol and the next question is asked by mr s arun sundresh he asks will india push its energy generation from fossil fuel to sustainable energy it is really simple to do but the problem lies at execution that i think you you itself have the answer uh, it's not that easy because it's a it's a very challenging thing because it's not just like you, you are making one kind of program any mmp national electric mission plan and uh, some other programs just shifting from petrol vehicles to electric vehicles uh, because our industry is uh, mostly uh, dominated by the big giants like mahindra tata all these are like uh, fossil fuel vehicles so it's not that easy to shift from this to that i think it's it's like if you want 100% electric mobility you need to wait for at least 2050 in india the next question is asked by mr pavan kumar vishwakarma he asks how soon electric vehicle launch in bharat does other companies also provide emi options uh, in india already there are so many electric vehicles some best electric vehicles are already available uh, but you are asking about emi, EMI options i think 70% of the electric two wheeler three wheeler four wheelers are providing emi options i think the remaining also will start providing this emi but i think due to this pandemic most of the companies are hesitate to give this emi option because uh, uh, the economy of the india is not uh, not just india it's all around the world it's it's like in a dilemma like because of the pandemic i think uh, within one year everything will be settled down all the companies will offer emi options and the next question is asked by mr dharmendra fazal when these electric vehicles comes into small cities i think it will happen very soon like uh, in the next couple of years because uh, setting a dealership network is not that easy you can open a dealership like you can open a showroom in a particular city but to provide the service and to provide the spare parts it's taking a lot of time like most of the companies have suffered with this same problem like many electric two wheeler companies already do having a lot of dealership network but they are not providing the service without service what is the use of setting lot lot dealer network right in the same way if the companies want to uh, start their start selling the vehicles in all parts of all remote areas it will take some time uh, I, i guess like within couple of years uh, they will come into all the parts of our country and the next question is from mr vijay launch of revolt motors in vijayawada hope for 2021 and the next question is from mr venu muniratniam range is constantly 5 or 10 years it's not at all constant any any electric vehicle cannot give a constant range maybe after one or two years the, the range will start reducing like one or two kilometers slowly it will uh, the battery pack will definitely reduce so you you cannot say five or 10 years it's the degradation starts sometimes in six months or one year two years it will happen the next question is from mr ravi kesho ask he asked to give some uh, make a video on career opportunities i will definitely make one video about it in a separate video next question is from uh, vinayak solanki ask about revolt 400 ka review ch- review chahiye like 10 km plus chal chuki ho please i want it I definitely will make a video on it the next question is from mr ranjit bogeshara made in india mark to cup launch hoga it will be in 2021 that's what the company announced the next question is from mr babu anka swiggy zomato food deliveries uh, for these deliveries is, are there any electric vehicles suitable the problem with food deliveries is uh, those vehicles should be fast and at the same time there should be, shouldn't be some kind of refueling the pro- and in the same uh, the electric vehicle technology current right now available is actually uh, some vehicles like either 450x uh, bajaj chetak tvs iq revolt rb400 are enough to give uh, high speed vehicle. these are all high speed vehicles e pluto 7g all these are these are suitable for uh, deliveries but at the same time you have to consider like uh, how much distance you will cover like uh, like if you're going to cover like 100 km range these are okay but if you want to range cover 200 km range you better have have a one backup plan for you like you need to buy one uh, extra battery for you that's the only way right now because uh, you know, for deliveries you cannot delay the, those them so it's uh, that's the answer for your question the next question f- is from mr chinmay devkar is it good to buy electric vehicle now or waiting will be worth i think it's is depends on you like if you if you didn't find the model you want to buy you, you better wait for an, another year like because i believe there are best electric vehicles already available in the market but the problem is uh, the availability like it, some best vehicles are not available in all states so that that's the reason we you have to wait and also try to may, try to explain your question more briefly like the more you explain uh, clearly about the question i can easily give you the answer 
you simply saying is is it good to buy I cannot say that if you explain like I am uh, living in a particular city or this is the requirements of my vehicle like I, I want a scooter or a bike or a car or this is the range I'm expecting this is the speed so if you explain these things it's easy for me to answer so any any viewer if you want a question if you want to ask a question please explain the question more elaborate so so it's very easy for me to answer it the next question is from Mr. Pragnesh Ganivat when will Mahindra EXUV 300 launch? Uh, the company said it will be launched. Uh, it will launch in 2021. The next question is from uh, Jijay Shagda. They ask, will hydrogen cars be a threat for electric cars and Tesla? Uh, I don't think uh, Novo technology is not a threat for any other technology. Every every technology has its own advantages and disadvantages. If you want to know the clear explanation for this, uh, I, you, I, I will suggest you to watch the electric vehicles versus uh, hydrogen vehicles uh, i will put the link in the description and the next question is from uh, mr harish kumar janapareddy he asked that just like petrol pumps when will charging station network will be available uh, everywhere i think the answer for that is uh, already so many like tata power is already tied up with hp to set up uh, charging stations in the same way esl tied up with uh, BSNL to set up charging stations at BSNL offices. There are actually tie-ups are done, but I don't know what the work uh, still done. If the, if the projects are already in progress, maybe in one or two years, uh, in all the within a 10 kilometers or 20 kilometer range, you will get charging station. So that's the answer for your question. Next question is from Prize and Prizeu. Will there be a permanent solution for water as a problem for EVs? I don't think uh, there is a pro the water is a problem for electric vehicles because nowadays all the electric vehicles are comes with IP67. A waterproof or dust proof rated like for the batteries and motor pack so that's the answer for your question so finally uh, one more question from mr unni krishnan vj why india is directly shifting to electric vehicles rather than for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles to electric vehicles why plug-in hybrid electric vehicles are not much there in the indian market i will answer this question in a separate video because it's a big topic so so that's all the answers for the subscriber questions if you have any doubts about electric vehicle technology Please ask your question in the comment section below. I will answer in the next Tuesday. Go green, go electric. Electric vehicles taught in motto is keeping the earth a safer place to live for the next generations. If you want to join our movement, you can support simply subscribing to our channel or sharing our videos or commenting on videos. Thanks for watching.